It's fairly well known that Apple doesn't support emulators in the App Store. This can make retro gaming on iOS a bit of a challenge. But fear not Atari fans because you can play Atari Lynx games on your iOS device, no jailbreak required, and no revocations. In this video, I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to take to play the Atari Lynx on your iOS device, and it all starts right now. You can use this browser-based Lynx emulator on mobile or desktop, but you will need a connected keyboard either directly to the device or by Bluetooth. This demo uses an iPad Pro and first-gen Apple keyboard. To access the Lynx emulator, go to this website, atarigamer.com slash explore. I've linked it for you in the description below. They've done a remarkable job of documenting the history of the Atari Lynx, and it's a wonderful repository, so spend some time looking around atarigamer.com itself. There's a variety of content you can access here. Official games, homebrew games, demos, and even new content still being released today. But for the focus of this demo, let's just look at the official games. Tap on official games to access the library. From here you'll see the box art for all of the officially released games for the Atari Lynx. Almost all of them are playable and the ROMs are even downloadable from here. There are a few titles that can't be downloaded or played online, probably due to licensing issues. And although the Atari Lynx didn't have a large amount of commercial releases, the variety of games is fantastic and there are some real gems in this collection. As you look over the game selection here, take note there are some Atari arcade classics that have been ported over to the Atari Lynx and they make for some great gameplay. Let's try out Zybots. Tap on the game that you want to play, but tap on the bottom quarter of the box order so. If you hover over this with a mouse interface, it actually gives you a chance to kind of look over what your selections are. But from a touch interface, just tap in about the bottom one quarter of the box and it'll take you directly to the emulator. And this is what you'll see. I want to show you a couple of things about this emulator so you understand how it works. The first one is, this actually uses RetroArch and Libretto and checks out the ROMs to make it possible for you to play them in a browser-based interface. So this is straight up legit RetroArch Libretto running right in a browser. This is very cool stuff. And the other thing I want to show you is what the keyboard controls are so that you know how to use it. If you tap on or touch the controls on the Lynx image itself, nothing happens. This requires a keyboard, and that's why I said at the beginning of the video, you need to either have a connected keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard. One of the things that makes playing this Lynx emulator so rewarding on an iPad is that the Lynx and the iPad share a very close screen ratio. The iPad has a 4 to 3 screen ratio, and the Lynx, while not quite 4 by 3, isn't too far off from it. So when you pinch zoom in, it's a very near full screen experience on an iPad. So to start the game, just tap on the screen to load it up. And after a short load time, you'll be greeted with the Zybots load screen and fully emulated sound. And how about this? You're playing Atari Lynx on your iPad, iPhone, mobile device, no jailbreak needed, no revocation. Let's get into some gameplay. Check this out. Fully emulated and full game sound. This is incredible. I encourage you to take the time to explore the Atari Gamer website. The work that they have done to preserve playing the Atari Lynx is absolutely second to none. It looks like there's close to about 200 different ROMs you can try out right online. So there is a vast variety of things that you can do on the go to enjoy the Atari Lynx experience. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on great original video game content as it's posted. And check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comments below. Thanks so much. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.